So what is Oracle Application Express, or APEX? Simply put, APEX is a rapid application development tool for the Oracle database. With APEX, one can very quickly build applications on top of existing Oracle tables or views. APEX is browser-based, and this is true both while developing and running applications. There's no client software required. Everything you need to develop an application can be done via the browser. That's not to say, however, that you couldn't complement your development efforts with a tool such as SQL Developer or Toad. Many do, Probably including yeah. myself. I'm a fan of SQL Developer. Apex fills the large void between Access and Java. Access is simple, but very limited in features. And Java, not really limited in features, but it's so complex that it usually takes a lot of time and resources to produce any results. Apex, on the other hand, is both feature-rich and easy to use. Because Apex is built directly into the Oracle database, it's easy to integrate with other database features and products, some of which we'll take a look at later. SQL and PLSQL are the main languages used by those developing an Oracle, and any experience with those languages will be very useful in Apex, but it's not required. Apex first became a standard component of the database with the Express Edition 10G. Now, with 11G going forward, all versions of the Oracle database will come with Apex ready to go. You have to do a quick check on the version, as it may be outdated. If it is, upgrading to the latest version is something the Apex team has made very easy to do. Apex is a fully supported Oracle product. There's a dedicated Oracle support team which specializes in Oracle Forms and Apex only. We like to call Apex a no-cost option for the database, meaning you can develop as many applications with as many users as you like within the Oracle database license terms. It almost boils down to do you have a per user or CPU license. Folks, feel free to ask questions as we go. One of the key words often used to describe Apex is declarative. And this just means that we use wizards to create applications and other components, such as pages and items on those pages. And subsequently, we use definition screens to make changes to what we've created. This declarative approach allows developers to add a lot of functionality with little or no code in many cases. It also makes Apex easy to enhance and maintain as everything is presented in a consistent manner. Here we see a high-level overview of the architecture used by Apex. And on the left, we have a web browser. In the middle, a web listener. And on the right is the Oracle database. The way it works, an end user using their web browser will go to one of your Apex applications just by entering the URL in the browser. That will send a request to the listener the listener will recognize that as an Apex request and send that along to the Apex engine in the Oracle database. That Apex engine uses metadata in its own schemas combined with other data in your custom schemas to generate the contents of an HTML web page, which it then forwards back out through the web listener to the client. There are several different options uh, for that web listener in the middle there. 
you can use Apache or with Mod PL SQL or the embedded PL SQL gateway. And we'll see, hopefully within the next few months, the release of Apex 4, which will introduce another option, which will be a Java-based listener. Going forward, that will probably be the preferred method. Apex is organized into workspaces. And a workspace is really just an independent development environment. What you do in one workspace doesn't affect the others. Each workspace has an internal user repository. The repository is a convenient tool for small numbers of users, say up to 20. But past that, you'd probably want to consider other options. want to show you that internal repository. So here we are at the login screen for Apex. I'm going to go ahead and log in to a workspace. Once you've authenticated to the workspace, you'll see the workspace homepage. And what I want to show you is over here under administration, you see manage application express users. If you click that link, you'll be taken to the internal user repository. So here we just have two users. If, if you wanted to develop applications with small numbers of users, this tool will work fine. You can create administrators, as you see on the right, developers and end users. Um, but as I mentioned before, this is really only good for up to about 20 people. Past that, the maintenance here can become an issue. And you may want to consider other options, such as using an LDAP directory, OID, or Active Directory, uh, or database account credential, something along those lines. Since Apex was first introduced in 2004, there have been eight major releases. Each release brings more functionality. Originally named HTMLDB, the tool was renamed to Oracle Application Express in 2006 due to complaints about the origin, original name. Even before being released as HTMLDB, the tool was known internally at Oracle as Project Marvel. WebDB, on the other hand, is a completely different tool with no shared code. WebDB predates Project Marvel and was further developed independently as the basis for Oracle Portal. 